Well, good morning, all. It's 9.30. We're going to call this Solid Waste Authority board meeting to order. Uh, vi auto video, audio video, we're good. I see thumbs up. Thank you very much. May I have a roll call, please? Commissioner Barnett. Commissioner Baxter. Here. Commissioner Bernard. Here. Vice Mayor Marino. Here. Mayor Sachs. Commissioner Weiss. Here. Commissioner Woodward. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Dan, would you lead us in the uh, invocation and the pledge? Absolutely. We ask you, God, to bless this meeting of people who earnestly desire to do their work in the best possible way, to benefit those we serve, and to leave to our children a better world. Please give us the wisdom and vision to plan adequately and act correctly to achieve these ends. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Any additions, deletions, modifications to the agenda? There are none. Okay. May I have a motion to approve the agenda as written? Second. Thank you all. And minutes. We need approval for the uh, August 23rd and November 21st minutes of the board. Madam Chair, I'll make that motion. Thank you. May I have a second? second? Thank you, Ms. Baxter. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, may I also have a motion to approve the Citizens Advisory Committee December 6, 2023 minutes and the Small Business Advisory Committee August 8th and October 3rd, 2023 minutes. So moved. May, yeah. Well, this Even is good. We're going, we're going through this quickly. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Rebecca, uh, consent and may I have... Would anybody like to pull anything from consent? No. Okay, may I have a motion to approve the consent agenda as so published? Moved. We got a motion and a second. All in favor? Okay. Any opposed? I don't think so. Motion carries. Thank you so much. All right. As we turn our pages, I don't believe we have any public cards. No, ma'am, no? we do not. Okay, thank you. Uh, public hearing, old business, none, new business, executive director. Nothing, I see. Nothing. Okay. Legal, I see nothing. Operations, I see nothing. This is going to be a quick meeting. Okay. New business continued, customer information services, item 9D1, blighted and distressed property cleanup and beautification grant award. So. Mr. Gonsalves has a, a brief introduction. Good morning, uh, Madam Chair, Vice Chair, and Board. Um, we're here today to seek your direction. Now in its ninth year, the SWA Blighted and Distressed Property Cleanup Grant has awarded a total of $6.1 million to our governmental partners to reduce blighted areas throughout the county. In August of 23, 2023, the Board approved $750,000 for the 2024 Blighted and Distressed Property Cleanup Grant. We received seven applications totaling $1,036,020. Staff has performed a review of the applications to determine compliance with the intent of the program and its staff's opinion that all projects do meet the requirements. In light of above, the total eligible request amounts exceed the available funds by $286,020. Staff requests the board review the grant applications and identify which projects it wishes to fund, the amounts to be funded, and staff will be available to assist with any questions you may have. Thank you. Do I have any questions or comments from the board? Yes, Chair. I know, I, there's a, I, I don't know how to work this thing, so <laughs> you'll have to give me, um, but were you, are you one or two on your thing, doesn't say? I'm one. You're one, okay. Commissioner Weiss. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. My understanding is uh, that the uh, Citizens Advisory Committee had approved all the items except for item uh, number seven, I think due to the, the amount of funding being requested. I, uh, my question is, uh, in keeping with our budget, what would we, I, I think we can fund everything, including part of item number seven. What would, what would we be able to, to stay in the budget and, and fund everything. 
how much uh, item on item number seven could we in include? So the, CA, the CAC's direction was they had two questions that they wanted to question for Wellington. And um, one of them was, was Waste Water Management District to pr uh, putting forth any funds to assist in this? And the answer to that was no. And the other one was, uh, the other question, if we were to reduce or if the board's direction was to reduce the grant, would they still be able to move forward with the project? And the email that we received from Wellington was that if we halved their project or request, they would be able to find the other half. So if we took half of the request, it, that would r bring the total requested amount to $873,760. Any additional questions? No, ma'am. Okay. Commissioner Baxter? How much was the total amount of the budget? That was the total amount was seven hundred and fifty thousand. Um, just as a note, we have in the past exceeded the budget if the project deemed if the board deemed all of the projects to be um, to be worthy. Um, but two hundred eighty six thousand over is a lot. But if you were inclined to to reduce Wellington's in half, um, I can assure you I can find the funds to make up the difference if you want to. Uh, as far as the others on the list, they all um, are consi co consistent with the program. Um, the Village of Wellington's, there's no cost share on it. So typically, in the past, the board has been interested in seeing a cost share just because it demonstrates a commitment to the project above and beyond just us. Um, so, I mean, I can, I can offer that up and say if that was the board's desire was to cut that one in half and... and with so with funding half of it, the residents would still well, they, they would, would still be able to demo it. So whatever needed done could. Yeah, the Wellington has stated that if we give them half of the money, they'll find the other half, and and they'll still be able to pursue the project. So that's it's really up to you. This program is um, we've always left it up to board discretion to see which ones they want to fund and which ones you don't. I'm I'm okay with half. So um, unless there's any more comments, I'll make the motion. Do I have a second? Uh -huh. Second. Okay. Uh, actually, I do have a couple comments. Does anyone else have comments? I do have a comment, just um, not in regards to this item, but um, last week the Education Foundation they had the grand the groundbreaking, and you know that they used the the blighted funds. So I think that was great. So we're using these uh, to help in the community. Thanks. Anyone else? The only, the only question I have about this is, you said that they hadn't um, exhausted solid waste, I mean, um, South Florida Water Management, or what other districts were they, um, could they possibly I'm not to? sure which drainage district this canal falls in, but my understanding is they have not approached the drainage districts for uh, a request for funding for this bridge that crosses the canal. I'm not sure whether it's a Water Management District or Lake Worth Drainage District, I'm not sure. But that was the question the CAC had was, is have you approached the drainage districts? Because it definitely, it benefits them as well to have this old bridge removed. Um, well, I know in the past we have, we have gone, we have exceeded our budget for this. And sometimes throughout the year, monies come back to us because other programs haven't either completed everything there. They are, they have said they were going to. So um, I think we're all pretty comfortable with going over the budget a little bit this year. And we'll see what happens. So uh, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. I see nothing for engineering, nothing for planning. Financial management services. Mr. Dumars. Yes, I'm going to handle this uh, oh, okay. for Paul. Um, so the Solid Waste Authority, as you are aware, um, did a disparity study uh, more than five years ago. We enacted our Equal Business Opportunity Program, which was intended to um, provide opportunities for small minority women-owned businesses to participate in authority procurements. Uh, we adopted a, a um, Equal Business Opportunity uh, Program. It's part of our purchasing manual. Um, that manual requires that at least every five years we redo a disparity study to determine whether the factual predicate remains to continue a race and gender conscious program. One of the elements of, of the study, and we issued the RFP back in October for the consultant. Um, 
just to step to that a little bit. So we're expecting those responses back on December, on December 19th. Uh, the process after that is staff will internally review them. We'll rank the proposals in, in, uh, in accordance with the evaluation criteria in the RFP. And then that ranking will come back to the board in February and the, the board will determine who is awarded the contract for, for the disparity study. Uh, one critical element of the study and the reason why this is on the agenda is the determination of the relevant marketplace. Uh, the relevant marketplace under our current program is Palm Beach County. It's consistent with our local preference policy, which provides preference to Palm Beach County firms. Um, we have only been during our program providing preference to um, minority and women-owned businesses and small businesses as well that are domiciled or have a significant business presence in Palm Beach County. Uh, consistent with that, um, rather than having the consultant do a bunch of analysis based on looking at Palm Beach County or a broader marketplace and coming back potentially with a recommendation the board doesn't support in terms of broadening this beyond Palm Beach County, I thought this would be a good opportunity to have the board provide us with some direction as to, as to whether the board would like to continue the practice of, of establishing the relevant marketplace at Palm Beach County and limiting the preference to Palm Beach County firms. And that would be my recommendation. Thanks. Thank you. I see no let lights lit. I can, oh, I can okay. weigh in. I, I, I support uh, Mr. Pelowitz's decision and, and the CAC um, recommendation to stick to Palm Beach County. Thank you. So yes. actually, we need any other, I see no other comments. I don't know how to turn this off. You'll, you'll teach me. Um, so I see no other comments. Do I have a motion and a second, please? So moved. Moved. I get a motion from Commissioner Baxter, a second from Commissioner Woodward. All in favor? Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you very much. Other scheduled matters? I, I see none. none. Comments by our general counsel? Uh, no comments. Just uh, happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Any staff want to comment? Sure. I have a, I have, oh, you have one? Go ahead, Paul. Yes, I apologize. Just for the record, uh, your motion in approval was based on Wellington halving the requested amount? Correct. Yes. Okay, thank you. No problem. So as I've talked about before, um, we're very proud here in, at the Solid Waste Authority for achieving the highest recycling rate in the state and hitting the 80% mark. And I just wanted to show you the, the award we received from, uh, the, from the DEP uh, recognizing uh, that fact. So it's very important. We're proud to have the highest recycling rate in the state. Thank you very much. Know. Much appreciated. Uh, and we do appreciate the hard work. Well, with that, thank I'm, you. And I'm, one other thing, um, we do have, uh, I know, uh, Commissioner Marino, you have a, an open CAC position that we're looking to fill. Uh, Commissioner Woodward, um, we received notice yesterday that Arnie Strauss, who's been with the CAC since 2014, is resigning. So you're going to have an opening for a CAC member. Um, coming up, uh, I'd just like to take the opportunity to thank Arnie uh, for his service on the Citizens Advisory Committee. He's, he's a, really a, a great person, and it's always been a pleasure to see Arnie, so we wish him the best. Um, I do have a name, if you'd like, of someone who's demonstrated interest in wanting to be on the CAC. I'll share that with you. Um, and then, uh, other than that, um, I would just like to wish everybody... Uh, Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and uh, I've just been advised of one more thing I'm sharing with you. Um, we were, and a, and a Happy Hanukkah as well. We were approached by the um, Supervisor of Elections Office. Uh, they were needed a polling station, so the Solid Waste Authority is providing a polling station across the street at our operations uh, management building for the March and November elections of next year and anything else that comes in place as well. So. I just wanted to give you a heads up that we are doing that. And with that, again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy New Year. Thank you very much. Okay, we're at comments by the board. So, Commissioner Bernard, anything? Just want to thank Dan for running this great operation and the many staff that works for Solid Waste Authority. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Bern Barnett. Uh, thank you. Um, Vice Mayor, I um, wanted to state for the record I'm here, I'm present. <laughs> a few minutes late, my apologies, and I can't believe I missed the whole meeting. I'm only, only 10 minutes late. That <laughs> That's was, all right. Uh, we strive to have brief meetings. 
a government sometimes does move quickly. <laughs> uh, I have nothing else to add. Just same. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy Holidays to everyone, to staff, Mr. Pelowitz, Bellard members. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Woodward. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just wanted to say I don't believe we've had a board meeting since our uh, joint regional meeting with the Treasure Coast in South Florida. Uh, but Solid Waste Authority was there to represent the whole meeting was about recycling. And uh, we were the bells of the ball, I would have to say. Good job. Very proud that uh, you presented there. And there's been a lot of discussion that I've heard from people who were there since then. So congratulations on that and everything that you guys do. And happy, merry, all the holidays. And uh, see you guys next year. Thank you. Commissioner Weiss. Thank you. Um, I echo, echo the comments of, of my colleagues. And uh, I just, unfortunately, um, and I, I want to use this time here to, to speak to the public. There was an incident. Um, a synagogue up in the northern part of the county had uh, created a menorah out of sand, or they had it created for them. It's up by the Juno Pier. And some folks uh, decided it was appropriate to desecrate it um, and placed a, uh, a swastika on it as well. Uh, I've, I've reached out to Sheriff Bradshaw. They are, they are on it. Uh, and to let folks know tonight, uh, there'll be a gathering. This is seventh night of Hanukkah. There'll be a gathering uh, up there. Everybody is invited. Uh, bring a light because this is to shine a light on the darkness that's being put upon um, not only the Jewish community, but uh, Palm Beach County and, and everybody else. So um, asking folks to uh, consider coming out at about 5.30 this evening. Uh, they'll come together. Um, and that... Uh, I want to thank I want to thank our staff here. You all have done a, a phenomenal job. It's been a, a great year. Uh, we've seen you know I have, now it's, it's into my fifth year now in, in seeing you know minimal minimal calls in relation to anything going on with Salt Waste Authority from our our residents and, and businesses. So kudos to you all and thank you and, and your employees for just a great year. So thank you, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Vice Chair Baxter. Thank you, Chair. I just want to again say thank you to staff. Dan, you do a phenomenal, amazing job. You set the, uh, the, the bar very high. I would like to wish everyone happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Enjoy. I hope you guys take a break <laughs> between Christmas, New Year's, um, and enjoy your families. Thank you. Um, Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Uh, and I do wish everyone a very safe and healthy rest of the year. Happy New Year. And we look forward to next month and our next meeting. And with that, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you so much. <laughs>